Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you this smoky eye, which is kind of like a matte everyday smoky eye, I would say. It's not like super smoky, but it has some smokiness, if that makes sense. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyelids. I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. And then I went in with this palette, which is by Be Perfect Cosmetics. I will put the name in the description bar. And I started with this super light color. And I started blending this in the inner corner of the eye and I just gradually applied more and more to really like build up the color payoff and I think it's kind of like a super light shade it's not straight up white but it's kind of like a super light nude shade <laughs> almost white <laughs> then I went in with this kind of light brownish orangey color I don't really know how to describe this color but I think it's kind of like a warm brown and I started blending this in the center of the eyelid and the crease and then just making circular motions and just kind of like smudging it out towards that light color in the inner corner. I wanted to create kind of the effect that it goes from light to dark, from the inner corner to the outer corner. Um, when I do this, I always like to go in with the light shade after doing this. So the transition looks a little bit more better, but I will do that after this. So right now I went in with a little bit more of that white and it will just make the transition from the light to the dark look a little bit more blended out. Then I went in with this color, which is a little bit darker and this is gonna be like the dark shade at the outer end. And already you can see that transition starting to develop <laughs> where it goes from light to dark. And if you feel like you need a little bit more of the light color or the medium color, you can always go on top of it and like again to make the transition look a little bit better. But I feel like this only needs to happen with the light color, like I just did before this step. But just see how it looks and you can always add a little bit more. So just focusing at the outer end to make it as blended as possible. I did have, well, it did blend out well, but I think I should have used like a more fluffier brush to get it to look a little bit more softer, but eventually it looked great. Then I went in with this eyeliner, which is by Ofra Cosmetics. I believe it's called the Certified Eyeliner, if I'm not mistaken. It's one of my favorites. And I just created a simple line above the lash line. And then when I came towards the end, I made the line a little bit higher because I want to kind of like smoke out the outer end into my eyeshadow. But you will see that after this step. So first I just did this. And of course I did this on both of my eyes. And I just love this eyeliner because it's super black and easy to use. So now I'm going in with black eyeshadow and kind of pressing it on top of the outer end of where the eyeliner stops and just kind of smudging it out to give the illusion that the eyeliner kind of fades with some eyeshadow smokiness into my outer V. I have been doing this trick a lot lately. I feel like it's so effortless, it's not that complicated and if you have hooded eyes um, you can definitely try this as well because it doesn't really matter if you have hooded eyes. No normally when you do like a, a wink liner you can always kind of see that the eyeliner doesn't look great because of the fold in your eyelid basically. So with eyeshadow it all looks a little bit more softer and you can pull it off more easily. So let me know if you tried this on hooded eyes. I have slight hooded eyes. When I film I always kind of lift my eyebrow to make the eyeshadow blending process a bit easier. But when I relax my brows I always have slight hooded eyes. But not too crazy. But I think when I look at my dad I really look like, the, like my family on my dad's side. They all have super hooded eyes with lots of eyelid hanging over their eyes. So I think I'm gonna have this in the future as well. So I have to cherish the moment that I don't have this yet, but I think my time will come. So I went in with that brown underneath the lower lash line, used a little bit more of that light color in the inner corner, and then I went in with a brown pencil in the waterline. This pencil is by Makeup by Mario. It's one of my favorites. It's a beautiful warm brown color. And then now it's time for mascara. And I used the mascara from Lancome, which is actually a very nice mascara. I did feel like I had to apply a lot of coats, but I don't know. It really made my lashes look very long. Maybe a little bit thicker than I want them to be, but I was happy with how it looked. 
Now I did want it to go in with some mascara, no, with some lashes I mean, because I feel like it just makes the whole eye look look so much better. So I went in with these beautiful lashes from Sigma Beauty and just wanted to show you a little process of how I do this. I don't always show this in my videos because I feel like it takes a lot of time. So it takes also a lot of time in my video, but now and then I like to show you just a little bit more of it to show you the process if you're struggling with it. I do have a separate video where I go way more in depth on how to apply lashes. So if you struggle with that and you want to see that video, I will link it down in the description bar just in case you want to check it out. And I wasn't sure actually if I put the lashes on the wrong eye because I felt like when I look at my eyes, it kind of looked like the lashes go from long to short in the wrong direction. So I might have applied them on the wrong eye i'm not quite sure but i hope regardless you like how it turned out and let me know if this is a look that you would try also let me know if you are already ready for some more glam and glitter looks i'm just really feeling like i want to do more glam looks but maybe it's too early i'm not sure should i wait a little bit longer let me know um, i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hopefully i will see you all in my next video Bye.